The demand for more and better information is increasing in order to achieve reduced environmental impact. The construction industry both domestically and abroad has developed BIM, Building Information Modeling, and EPD, Environmental Product Declaration, as important tools. This video will demonstrate how EPD can be integrated in BIM. BIM is a, it's a virtual model of the building. It's the bits and pieces you, you will eventually construct, but in a, in a data format. Uh, you take a physical model, and you put it into a computer, so it's a virtual model. It consists of uh, bits and bytes, uh, but it's possible to view the model in all kinds of directions, and you can walk through it so you can see how it looks from the living room, and you can see the view from the outside, and all that stuff. And that's just part of what a BIM is, because in addition to the sort of geometrical or virtual visual effect, you have all kinds of information related to objects and, and stuff like that. So you can, uh, for example, you can uh, touch a wall and you can read out information about that wall. Is it consist of uh, wood or does it consist of gypsum or what kind of paint is used, what kind of color is used? Uh, all that information is embedded inside this virtual model. Producers choose mostly to document their environmental impacts through uh, a standardized and international method, environmental product declaration. EPD is a well-known method that includes all stages of a life cycle of a product. And when you have this EPD information, you're able to choose the best product concerning the environment. Consider an igloo in Greenland. Here, all the materials are eco-friendly. Now consider the same igloo in the Sahara and suddenly it's not as eco-friendly. When placed in the Sahara, it takes a lot of energy to keep the ice from melting. The main challenge are maybe twofold. Uh, and the first one is not so much challenge because you get EBD data for every when you get EBD data, EBD data for every uh, product you can just sum it up and get the results. But in the BIM world you want to make scenarios, and to make scenarios you have to have a little bit different EBD data. Um, the, the challenge in this project was that the EBD data was on not digital format. It was in a PDF file and it's not transferable easily to BIM models. Since every building material has a corresponding PDF file and EPD data cannot be implemented directly in software, this can quickly become very overwhelming. If we're to take advantage of this data in the planning and construction of new environmentally sustainable buildings, we need a bridge between EPD data and BIM modeling. In this Nordic project, Katenda has developed an API, Application Programming Interface, that reads the BIM model and makes it available for other software. And also, an API that makes the EPD data readable in a database format. In the main manager software, you can now use the EPD data to simulate the environmental impact of the building in many different scenarios. The APIs developed in this Nordic project have created a two-way bridge between the BIM world and the EPD world. 